We talked last night, Tyler. You get to play a game tomorrow. This is an important reset league, isn't it? And maybe flush some of the stuff from the night before. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty important game. Uh, obviously, you know, it's a rivalry game, a team that always plays us uh, really well, so we got to be prepared. Uh, it's never easy to win on the road, so we got to be prepared and come and ready to play. Freddie had some interesting words after the game, uh, talking about the effort on the power play wasn't good enough and the back checking's not good enough, that kind of stuff. But how do you take that as a teammate and a, and a yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, um, you know, when I think we gave up two two-on-ones and a breakaway on the when we were on the power play. So um, I think you you want to outchance them when you're on the power play compared to the penalty kill, and it's a privilege to be on the power play. So you got to work hard. It's you know you can't just go out there and try and use all your skill. It takes a lot of hard work, and that's something we got away from last night. Do you sense? Do you share a sense of urgency that you know this has to turn around uh, so we can't let these things kind of fester? I mean, I think there's urgency the whole year. Um, obviously. You know, um, when you lose a few games, uh, it's pretty important to get a, get back in the win column. Uh, you never want to lose too many in a row. Um, luckily, we did get points in a couple of those games we did lose. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty important that we don't let any more points slip away and get back in the win column as soon as we can. What was the reaction last night, perhaps the sign up right now? Yeah, I mean, you never want to give up leads, especially, you know, up to going into the third. Um, I mean, if you look at stats, I think uh, the majority of the time you're supposed to win those games. So I think we got a little complacent and, um, you know, took our foot off the gas. And obviously they got a high-powered offense and a, and a good team and play well at home, and they took advantage of it. Does being in a playoff spot with a wide berth against the team below, does that lead to complacency? Uh, I mean, it shouldn't. I think uh, you want to finish as high as you can in the standings, obviously. Um, so we got a lot of work to do to, to catch the teams ahead of us, and, and that should be our goal to, to try and, you know, catch them and, and get in a better position. Does the dynamic of any hockey room, and especially this one with the veterans that are here enough to say what has to be said and everyone knows and agrees and you move on yeah absolutely I think uh, you know we got guys like Patty and Haynes who, who, who they've been through a lot and they've been in this league a long time they're guys that that we can lean on in situations like this and I mean I don't think we have to panic uh, just focus on the, the next game and, and, and try and do things right and work hard Tyler, I'm pretty <coughs> soft spoken in the media what is he like in the room is he a vocal or more Vocal guy, how would you describe kind of his leadership approach if, if there is one? Yeah, I mean, I think he's a great leader. He's, he doesn't talk too much, but, uh, you know, when he does, his, his point is obviously means a lot, and um, he's a guy that, you know, sees things that are going on really well, and, um, you know, he's been playing unbelievable for us, so it's probably a little frustrating when, you know, we're, we're not playing our best in front of him when we do have those leads. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we got to be better.